It is a weird creature, stiff, pale, and deathly looking. A zombie, incapable of movement, but all of a sudden in one long hop it is face to face with you. But what exactly is it? There are numerous vampiric and zombie-like creatures that appear in Chinese mythology, and the creature that we'll be discussing today is the Zhang Shi. As with many Chinese influences, it is a creature that appears in several Southeast Asian countries, including Vietnam, Korea, Indonesia, and Japan. The Zhang Shi are most commonly known as the Chinese hopping vampire. The name Zhang Shi itself originates from a phrase meaning stiff corpse, and this refers to the fact that they have rigor mortis, rendering them unable to walk, so instead they hop around. It was thought that if one was to knock or push one over, they would never be able to get up without assistance. Now this may seem like a very peculiar and unpractical way to travel, so how exactly did these reanimated corpses come to be? One of the origin stories used to explain the Zhang Shi relates to how dead bodies would be transported. When someone died far from their home, it would be rather expensive to transport their body back to their family. To solve this problem, families would instead hire a Taoist priest to conduct a ritual, reanimating the dead person, and then teaching him or her how to hop their way back to their family. The priest would escort these bodies back during the evening, where they would make their presence known by sounding a bell. This was done because a person gazing upon a Zhang Shi was considered a bad omen. Another potential explanation as to how the Zhang Shi were created is because of an improper death, either a suicide or a murder, leaving the individual with unresolved business and their soul unable to leave the deceased body. There have been numerous films featuring the Zhang Shi, where being injured by them causes the victims to be infected with the Zhang Shi virus, slowly turning them into one. Now this is quite a common trope amongst both zombies and vampires. Their physical appearance can vary drastically. As we mentioned earlier, they are essentially a reanimated corpse, so a pale decaying appearance that we would associate with a corpse can be expected. Because they have rigor mortis, they struggle to move their limbs, and the main way they move around is by hopping. While they hop around, their arms are stretched out in front of them to improve balance and mobility. This in itself is another trope that we would associate with zombies, arms stretched staggering towards their next meal. Some Zhang Shi have long fingernails that are extremely strong, and a palish green skin that is believed to be some kind of fungus growing on their dead bodies. It's thought that the Zhang Shi have no recollection of their previous life, and their behavior is extremely instinctual, closer to that of an animal than a human. It's no surprise that as a vampire of sorts, they prefer to feed off humans, draining their life force. But this can sometimes stretch to animals if they are desperate to feed. When it comes to hunting their prey, it's likely they use their sense of smell, or picking up on a human's heart rate and breathing pattern. There are several items and techniques that can be used to avoid the Zhang Shi. Relying on someone's breathing to track their prey, holding one's breath is an effective way to escape. Dropping a bag of coins on the floor is thought to cause the Zhang Shi to stop and count the coins, giving the person plenty of time to flee. Sticking a Taoist talisman to their forehead is another way to immobilize them, for as long as it remains attached. The sound of the rooster's call is said to cause many evil spirits to withdraw, as the rooster's call is usually a sign of the rising sun. With many spirits and creatures, particularly the vampiric ones and those who hunt during the evening, the sound of the call signals the end of the hunt. The Zhang Shi are a peculiar set of creatures, an interesting mix between a vampire and a zombie, with a ridiculous and comical form of movement, almost hopping around like a frog. They may be an obscure creature, but they seem to make numerous appearances in pop culture. If you happen to watch any TV shows or read any mangas where the Zhang Shi make an appearance, then let me know how they're depicted and how they differ. As always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained.